Hi everyone. So today uh, we're going to talk about the first lessons in these numerical methods we call approximations and errors. Okay, so in all of our numerical calculations that you will be learning later, there definitely will be some errors. Okay, but the, the point is, is it acceptable? Is the error acceptable? This is what I want to focus in this video. We call it as approximation error, which you're going to use this a lot of times in your um, calculations, okay, in, when we go on with this course. So this approximation error is represented by this symbol here. This is EA. And you actually calculate this type of error using iterative approach. I will show you an example later on how you can do that so ea the approximation error equals to the current approximation minus your previous approximation divided by current approximation what does it mean by approximation so this means current answer current answer minus previous answer divided by current answer times 100 percent and this ea is actually an absolute value okay so if you got negative you can just turn it into positive value and so on all right um let's say when you do a certain calculation here you will have first first trial first calculation and then you have um, an answer such as like 0 0.5. And then your second calculation or second trial, you got the answer as 0 0.1. And the third trial, you got the answer as 0 0.2. So this approximation error, you can use it if you are using iterative approach. So to calculate EA for the first trial, you cannot calculate EA for the first answer because there is no previous approximation. But for the second answer, you can calculate your approximation error for the second answer. So in here, for the second answer, you just use current approximation, which is 0 0.1, minus previous approximation, minus 0 0.5, divided by current approximation, which is 0 0.1 times 100%. Okay, so you'll get your answer. And solving this, you will get um, 400%. And if you move on to the third calculation, you use the same procedure. Current is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 divided with 0 0.2. Okay, so that's how you use your approximation error calculation. So, the iteration, um, as you move along, your first calculation, your second, your third, your fourth, and so on, and so on, and so on. How do you know when to stop calculating? It is when you, when your EA, you found it less than the ES. So ES is what we call as the pre-specified tolerance, okay? So when EA is less than ES. So if you got your approximation error, which is less than ES, you know that you can stop your calculation of your problem, okay? So this ES, what we call as the pre-specified tolerance, um, can be represented by this formula here. So ES equals to 0 0.5 times 10 times 10 to the power of 2 minus N, 100%. Uh, so what is N here? N is just significant figures. So let's say in the problem you are asked to calculate a value of so and so uh, and use how many significant figures or two or three or four, you, that is value of n okay and just insert it here to calculate what your what is your pre-specified tolerance but worry not usually this es or the pre-specified tolerance will be given to you in the question